We are Project Up, and you're listening to Not Just a Kid. He channels his creativity through his Lego blocks, his talent through his YouTube channel, and is also a cricket enthusiast. For the very first episode of Not Just a Kid, we're extremely thrilled to have Angad with an introduction that definitely reflects a lot with the name of the podcast. Well, I don't know about you, but I can definitely not wait to know everything that inspired him to start a YouTube channel. Or let's say what's the best lesson he has learned from his Legos. So let's directly dive into the conversation. Hi, Angad. Welcome to the first episode of Not Just a Kid. Thank you so much for joining us today. Since you're here now, we would love to know what your first reaction was when you got an invite from us. When I first got to know about the podcast, I was extremely excited to share my experiences with the world. And it was also very interesting to me how Project Up is giving young children like me a platform to share our stories. And I don't think this has ever been done before. Well, we're certainly more than happy to come up with this new initiative. And we're glad we were able to bring in an exciting feeling in these not so exciting days. Speaking of which, Angad, the COVID-19 pandemic has really been hard for everyone. And being a school-going kid, tell us what a day in your life looked like before the pandemic happened and how has it changed after the lockdown? So before the lockdown, I had regular school going on. However, the best thing about my day was going to the cricket academy and playing cricket after school. I loved watching and playing the game uh, since a long time. So when the lockdown happened, I was upset because I could no longer do my favorite thing. And during the lockdown, I couldn't do much. So I started building with my Lego bricks and playing chess with my dad and doing some exercise on the terrace. But there was still a lot of time which was being wasted. So gradually, I plan to start my own YouTube channel under the name Cread which comes from creative and mad. Oh, wow. Wonderful. So, Angad, let's talk a little more about your YouTube channel. After the lockdown, of course, you decided that you don't want to stop and this idea came up to you. So, what was your source of inspiration for this channel? And maybe you can tell us about any milestone you achieved in this YouTube journey so far. So, as I mentioned, when the lockdown happened, there was not much to do at home. So, I spent a lot of time either playing with my Lego sets or watching YouTube videos and in those YouTube videos I saw a lot of people solving various puzzle boxes with complex mechanisms which fascinated me a lot so I thought that I could design and build puzzle boxes from my own Lego bricks so I made a YouTube channel and as I started by designing puzzles with simple mechanisms I posted them on my channel my first video got around 30 views which were enough to keep me going. So I slowly started making more and more puzzles and posted them. After I achieved a total of around 70 subscribers, I reached out to one of the fellow creators from Canada for a collaboration and I was very happy when he agreed for it. So in the collaboration, we designed puzzle boxes for each other's channels, solved them and uploaded videos uh, on our respective channels. And I believe that was one of the milestones in my YouTube journey so far. And then slowly came the 100 subscriber mark. And I couldn't be more grateful. Oh my god, that's really awesome. You know, as they say, it's the little things that count. For you, I'm sure every single view and every single subscriber definitely meant a lot. And 100 subscribers is definitely a very big deal. Uh, Angad, did you face any any challenges? What were the biggest kind of challenges that you faced throughout this journey? In the beginning, one of the biggest challenges that I was facing was designing new mechanisms for every puzzle box. And as using the same mechanism, one way or the other won't interest people. And as the channel won't grow... Mm -hmm. And so I had to come up with a new mechanism for every puzzle box. But now as I have built around 20 different puzzle boxes, I have some experience and it is not that difficult to come up with new ideas as it used to be when I was starting. Another challenge is being consistent in uploading videos because I cannot always be building with Legos Mm -hmm. as there are also other tasks to do such as schoolwork and my exams are also going Mm -hmm. on. So yes. So how how often do you post your Lego videos? When I started out, I was not able to post consistently 
and like i posted like a maximum of two videos per month but now as i have some time and as the summer vacations just passed away so i had a time and i made a lot of videos so now i'll be posting twice a week okay interesting that's really interesting so uh, angad now that we know that you absolutely love building legos and you have your own youtube channel so when you make something with your lego so you know usually what happens is that uh, let's say that i am a painter and once i'm done with my painting i actually sit and see towards the end and contemplate exactly how is my painting and i do feel that you know okay sometimes i like it sometimes i don't like it so how do you feel after making making something with your lego how do you feel after that after seeing the end product after i complete any of the puzzles i feel very really great as it is unique in its own way and i have heard my father say that there is a solution for every problem and i've experienced that when i build puzzle boxes so it's a great thing as you can uh, like find out multiple solutions to one problem when you're building with legos now that sounds really good angad do you think lego building has helped you develop certain skills and if that's the case what kind of skills do you think you have developed throughout the journey yes it does help me develop a lot of skills and as i just mentioned that uh i learned that there are a lot of solutions to one thing in life and you should never stop thinking about it a thing that you are like facing a problem and you should not thinking about it and give up like there is not a solution so you should not give up and another thing is that lego building has taught me to think critically right. brainstorm ideas and since every puzzle has to look good as well I have learned a lot about balancing colors and other things about the designing process. Moreover, whenever I design a mechanism, it's not given that it will always function. So, what goes up on YouTube is never made in one go. Hmm. And puzzle making is all about trial and error, which has taught me to be patient and never give up. So, yeah, as you just mentioned that you know, it's not always that you will hit the right or right building in the first go so so i'm sure this would take a lot of your time right like you build it and then you wait and then at times it functions it turns out to be a good block other times it's, it's it does not which ultimately taught you to be more, much more patient which is one of the greatest lesson i'm sure that you've learned so far and this is really great to know so uh, angad you know it often happens that parents teachers or adults uh, you know they often ask children what they wish to become when they grow up so how often has this happened to you it happens uh, very often and earlier when people used to ask me i always answered by saying that i wish to become a cricketer but the lockdown has made me realize that i can also turn my lego building skills into a career and become a professional lego designer and are you comfortable with that question when people ask you yes i'm quite comfortable but when they say that uh, your dreams are not like your dreams are too difficult for you to achieve and you should not think about it anymore that really demotivates me as one should not crush children's dreams by saying that they're too difficult to achieve and rather support them and enable them to work towards what they really want to definitely definitely i absolutely agree with you on that so ankit if you had the chance to change the way these adults react to your answer or change the kind of advice they give you in return how would you do that i would just uh, suggest that adults should not crush their children's dreams and like cuz their children can achieve everything if they are really passionate about it so they should not uh, tell their children that it's too difficult for you you won't be able to do that there's a lot of competition in the uh, in the same field so yes the adult should always motivate right. the children in doing the thing that they like to do and they're passionate about definitely i completely agree with that that's so important given these times when actually children are trying to trying to understand what they what they are good at and trying to build up their own skills if you do not really motivate them that yes, exactly. is going to hamper their passions So so Angad if someone who is just as old as you and let's say they wish to become a guitarist or an artist or a footballer and let's say their parents disapprove of it what is the one thing you'd like to say to that kid I would like to advise the kid that he or she should stay focused in and believe in 
himself or herself as if the person's passionate enough they can achieve anything in their life and no goal is too difficult for them right. to achieve and it's not something that i'm uh, sharing from the internet but rather the experience of the youtube channel that there is more power in being consistent and focused on what you really want to do right right that makes so much sense so uh, angad as a child and teenager we often advise to take out some time and participate and engage ourselves in activities that we really enjoy doing and this is something we don't see our own parents and adults around us do and when they are the ones who advise us to you know actually engage in activities do you think adults should also take some time out from their busy work schedule to engage in such activities that they enjoy and this could be anything you know like painting playing a particular sport knitting or anything of that sort do you think that uh, yes sure i definitely feel that adults should take out some time for doing things that they like and it will also help them relieve some stress and spend quality time doing what they actually enjoy doing and in some way or the other it will also help them to enhance their skills in that field right right that's great so angad uh, since you mentioned about lego building that is one of your major hobbies that you're actually pursuing right now you have your own youtube channel you work on that and then you also also mentioned about th- that you're really passionate about cricket so do you see yourself achieving one of these dreams in future as your career uh, yes sure if you know in the coming months the lockdown opens up i'll also start playing cricket and going back to the academy and as i just said i can also turn the lego building into my career and become a lego designer as i am pretty good at designing things from the bricks right right amazing amazing so angad if i have to just ask you few little things that drives you the most towards your passion what would they be uh some things that drive me towards my passion would be like if i talk about legos I love uh, Legos because it's such a creative process and you can do anything with that with your imagination and you can build anything with the bricks you have and turn one thing into something that can really blow people's minds and change their perspective about something You know that's really true and with the kind of passion that I can see within you Angad towards Legos I'm sure that your skills are going to blow people's mind because you have that potential. In the end Angad, oh what is that one thing you would like to tell the audience who are listening to this podcast when it comes to listening to a child speak about their dreams or anything that interests them? Since you previously mentioned that a lot of time adults, you know, crush the dreams of the kids and demotivates them or just ask them not to dream so high and dream so big. So what is that one message you would like to give from your end? Uh yes so as you said I would like to urge adults to not shape their children's views for them but rather listen to what they have to say about their choices and reasons and all children need is someone to believe in their abilities and encourage them lastly as the aim behind this podcast you never know what impact a kid's perspective can have in the world exactly exactly so true we never know how much impact a kid's perspective can have in the world which exactly. is why a lot of times kids are asked to stay out of a lot of conversations thinking about their little maturity but here's where they're wrong because a kid is not just a kid and is definitely much more than that precisely sufficing our aim for the podcast thank you so much angad for tuning in with us today it was really amazing having this conversation with you we wish you all the very best for your future and for whatever you wish to pursue good luck thank you for that well that was angad in the first episode of not just a kid We hope you enjoyed this podcast as much as we did. Thank you so much for being with us and stay tuned for more such amazing, beautiful and passionate kids coming up with their own unique little stories which will fill your heart with warmth and hope. Because remember, it's the heart that matters.